This is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In this video, I want to show a great feature that we have in the Blue Sky Plan software that's primarily helpful if for whatever reason you're going to be treatment planning a case with implants that are not yet in the Blue Sky Plan software. Just to clarify, we are happy to add any dental implant system into the software. We just need cooperation with the implant company. So if the system that you're using is not yet in the software, then either, of course, you could switch to Blue Sky Bio Implants, or you could contact your rep or contact the company, tell them to email us at plan at blueskybio.com, and we'll take over from there working with the company to integrate their implant system into the software. So I've already imported the relevant surfaces, and I'm in the surgical guide module. I've switched to the advanced surgical guide module as this is advanced functionality, being able to being able to create custom settings for a relevant implant. So if you're using a system that's not in the software, you're still gonna go to the add implant dialog box and select an implant system that has similar implants in terms of the implant dimensions. So if you're gonna be using the Blue Sky Bio implant in this example as your placeholder, you'll browse the system, choose a platform and a relevant implant length that matches whatever system you are going to be using. Press OK, you could of course add the abutment if you like, and then press OK. Left click and place your implant. Now use any of the views and any of the widgets to rotate and fine tune your implant placement. Once you have the implant placement in the ideal location, now what you're going to do is go down to the drill kit option and choose custom kit. By this point, you really need to know the type of metal cylinder that you're going to be placing into your surgical guide and the relevant offset. If you don't have this information, then you could speak to the implant company that you are going to be using. The main two pieces of information that need to be updated are the guide hole diameter and the offset. The guide hole diameter is the size of the hole in the printed surgical guide. This should be set to one tenth of a millimeter wider than the outer diameter of the metal cylinder which is going to be used. Blue Sky Bio does carry a wide variety of metal cylinders and you can see this by going to blueskybio.com forward slash store forward slash guide dash tubes. And you can see the list here. And for each metal cylinder, we list the inner diameter and the outer diameter. So select the relevant metal cylinder that's one tenth of a millimeter wider than the major drill diameter. Note what the outer diameter is and then set the guide hole diameter to be one tenth of a millimeter wider than the outer diameter. The offset is the distance from the top of the implant to the top of the printed surgical guide. This should be calculated by taking the distance from the tip of the drill that you're going to be using to the built-in drill stop, subtract out from there the height of the implant, subtract out from there the width of any lips of the metal cylinders or handles that you're going to be using, and the remainder should be set as the offset. Once you have these two pieces of information, enter them into the relevant fields. If you've placed multiple implants and they should all have the same guide hole diameter and offset, click the Apply to All button and it will apply these settings to all the implants that you've already placed. Now what's great is that the software will remember these settings for the relevant implant for which you define them. And next time you place the implant, the software will automatically bring up the settings that you've entered for the guide hole diameter and offset. For demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and change the guide hole diameter to six millimeters and the offset to 10 millimeters. Now, if we go ahead and select a different kit, for example, the Blue Sky Bio Fully Guided Surgical Kit, we could see that the guide hole diameter and offset has changed. But now if we go back to the custom kit, we could see that the software has remembered the settings that we've previously entered. When using the custom kit option, the software will remember these settings, not just for the particular case that you're using currently, but it will remember these settings for future cases as well. And any time you treatment plan with the same implant and select custom kit, 
the software will bring up these settings, removing the need to re-enter the settings each time you use the relevant implant.